In this lesson, we are going to solve more examples on support reactions on beams. Now, if you take a look at the screen, we have a beam, we have a pin support at point A, and we have a roller support at point B. We know that pin support, they don't allow movement in the S and Y direction, while roller support, they don't allow movement in the Y direction. Pin support, we are going to have two unknown forces, while on the roller support, we are going to have one unknown force. Now, what you need to do is, you need to make an assumption on the direction of these forces. So, we are going to say, all the vertical force, we are going to assume this to be acting upward, while the horizontal force, we are going to assume this acting to the right. And if we have a positive value, meaning our assumption is right, but if we have a negative value, our assumption is wrong. They are acting in the opposite direction. So, we are going to have AY, this is acting upward, while we are going to have AS, this is acting to the right. Now, on the roller support B, we are going to have BY. So, this is acting upward. So, these are the forces we need to calculate. So, these forces, these forces they will make this structure to be at equilibrium. So, how can we calculate these forces? Now, what you need to know is, because we don't have any horizontal force on this beam, meaning AS is automatically going to be equal to zero, because we don't have any horizontal force on this beam. So we are going to say AS is equal to zero because we don't have any horizontal force on this beam. Now, all we need to do, we just need to calculate AY and BY. Now, if you take a look at this, we are having a distributed load. As you can see, we are having a distributed load. So what you need to do is you need to replace it with an equivalent force. So how can we replace this with an equivalent force? All you need to do, you need to take the area of this rectangle. Now, the area of this rectangle is going to be the height then multiply by the width. So, the width is going to be 8 feet, while the height, this is going to give us 20. So, 20 multiply, 20 multiply 8 is going to give us 160. So, this equivalent force, this is going to be at the middle. So you need to place this at the middle because we are having a rectangle. So we are having a, dis a, a rectangle. So we are going to place this at the middle. So this is going to be 160. This is 160 cape. So this is the equivalent force. Now we need to find AY and BY. So let's find BY. So what we need to do, we need to take summation of moments at A. So, we're going to take summation of the moment at A. So, this is summation of moment at A is equal to zero. So, we're going to say the movement in the counterclockwise direction is positive, while the movement in the clockwise direction is negative. Now, AS and AY, this is going to be equal to zero because they are passing through the point of origin. They are passing through point A. And because we are taking moment at point A, meaning AS and AY is going to be equal to zero. Because we know that moment is equal to force times distance. In order for us to have moment, we need force and distance. Because AS and AY, they don't have any distance, meaning there would be any moment produced at this point. Now, if you take a look at this, we have a moment of 10 cube feet, and this is acting in the clockwise direction. So because this is acting in the clockwise direction, meaning this is going to be negative. So this is negative 10 cube feet. Now, what about 12 keep? So, if we apply a force, 12 keep, if we apply this force on this beam and this is acting downward, this force is going to try to rotate this beam in the clockwise direction. So, because it is trying to rotate the, be the beam in the clockwise direction, we are going to have negative. So, this is negative 12 keep. Then multiply, what is the distance? The distance is going to be 7 feet plus 4 feet. So, this is the distance from this force to the pin support. So, 7 plus 4, this is going to give us 11. So, this is 11 feet. Now, what about BY? As you can see, BY is acting upward. If we try to apply this force on the beam and this is acting upward, 
it is going to try to rotate this beam in the counterclockwise direction. So we are going to have positive. So this is positive BY. Then what about the distance? So the distance from BY to point A, this is going to be 7 plus 4 plus 7. So this is going to be 18. So this is 18 feet. Now we have the equivalent force, 160 keep. And this is acting downward. So because it is acting downward, meaning it is going to try to rotate the beam in the clockwise direction. So this is going to be negative 160 keep. So we also need the distance because we want to find the moment produced at point A due to the force 160 keep. So what is going to be the distance? As you can see, this the distance from the equivalent force 160 keep to the roller support, this is going to be 4 feet, right? This is 4 feet. So it's going to be 4 feet plus 7 feet plus 4 feet plus 7 feet. This is going to give us 22 feet. So we're going to have multiplied by 22 feet. So because we don't have any additional force, this is going to be equal to 0. So all we need to do, we just need to find BY. We just need to solve BY. So it is very easy now. All you need to do, you just need to use your calculator to solve for BY. So solving for BY, you are going to get BY is equal to 203.4 for keep so this is going to be the value of by two zero three point four four keep as you can see by is positive so because it is positive meaning our assumption is correct so meaning this is indeed acting upward because we're having a positive value so let's solve for a y how can we solve for a y we need to take the summation of the forces in the vertical direction. So we need to say this is equal to zero. So I'm going to say summation of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero. And I'm going to say the forces acting upward is positive, while the forces acting downward is negative. Now, the first force we have is Ay. As you can see, Ay is acting upward, so this is going to be positive. So I'm going to have Ay. Now, the next force is 12 keep, and this is acting downward. So, because it is acting downward, we are going to have negative. So, this is negative 12 keep. What other forces do we have? We have BY, and BY is 203.44 keep, and this is acting upward, so it's going to be positive. So, this is positive 203.44 keep. Now, we have 160 keep. This is the equivalent force. 160 keep is acting downward, so it is going to be negative. So this is going to be minus 160 keep. So because we don't have any additional force, meaning this is going to be equal to zero. So we're going to have Ay, then minus 12 keep plus 20.44 keep minus 160 keep. This is going to give us positive. This is going to give us positive 31. 0.44 keep is equal to zero. So if we take this to the right side of the equation, we're going to have Ay is equal to negative 31.44 keep. So this is going to be the answer. So Ay is negative 31.44 keep. As you can see, we are having a negative value. Because we have a negative value, meaning our assumption is wrong, meaning this force is acting downward because we're having a negative value. So AS is zero because we don't have any horizontal force. A BY is 203.44 keep, and this is acting upward. Y AY is 31.44 keep, and this is acting downward so these are the forces that are required in order for this beam to be at equilibrium because support reactions these are what keep the structures at equilibrium